People who have jobs where you go inside homes, what's the worst thing you've seen? Heating company person here. We went into a home to install a new furnace, but turns out he needed a new heat run put into the bathroom upstairs. I should also mention that the dude has been without running water, electric and gas for about two years. Guess what we found piled up all over the bathroom floor? I honestly don't know how he was living there, but we called some people to get him the help he needed. It was poop. Used to clean up apartments after people had moved out, been evicted. One apartment was Section 8 and the tenant who was receiving the Section 8 got cut off because she broke a bunch of the Section 8 rules. Apparently the last six months of her living there she had actually moved out and turned off services, but still let her kids live there, late teens to early 20s I think. So the kids who lived there trashed the place, when I got there the floor was covered by two feet of trash, clothes, broken furniture. Food had been left to rot all over, and the place was filled with bugs and fleas and it smelled like a garbage dump. The worst though was the bathroom. The water hadn't been on in a good long while, but they kept shitting in the toilet until it filled up. Then, when that had gotten full they shat into the bathtub and into 5 gallon buckets that they had left around the house. All in all it was about 200 pounds of human shit in the tub. I had to bag it up in 1 pound bags, bag that bag, and then put no more than 5 bags in a sealable pail and take it to a special waste treatment site. Second to that was the 5 bedroom party house that a bunch of professional snowboarders had lived in for a year or two. They got evicted for not paying rent, or something like that, and they had thrashed the place before they left. The worst thing in that place was that there was a gap, maybe three quarters of an inch, between a bathroom vanity and a piece of glass for the shower enclosure. Someone, or maybe all of them, decided that they were going to store their used condoms there, at least a 100 were stuck in there. It was gross, moldy, and eventually we had to rip out the vanity because that was the only way to ensure that it was clean. X removals guy. I started moving a fridge to find a rotted piece of fish in a pool of cat piss at the back. I didn't like it. I chortled out loud and I didn't like it. The bathroom floor covered in feces and urine, floor stained brown and I had to clean it on my ducking hands and knees. Going to quit this job this week. I worked cleaning houses for a while and legally your employer cannot ask you to clean bodily fluids without protective equipment. I did remodels for a while. The worst one was a legitimate hoarder. That house was disgusting. She had to clear a path for us to get to the bathroom with our tools so we could work. Lots of cats too. The house smelled very strongly of cat piss. I'll never forget when I went to the back looking for the water hose. There was a pool filled with disgusting algae covered water and a dead cat floating in it. I was very happy when the job was over. At least her bathroom looked great. What the actual duck? Did she know that cat was in there? I used to clean carpets. We went to a double wide trailer once that had about 20 cats inside, plus 3 dogs. I didn't see a single litter box, and by the time we were done, the slate grey carpet was almost white again. The ammonia smell inside about made me puke, but the old couple that lived there acted like nothing was wrong. It's amazing what you can get used to skeptical. I used to work for a carpet cleaning company. Four had some interesting stories but this one always takes the cake. We had this program where we hired special needs people part time. So we hire this new guy, Bob. Bob's a rather large fella, not the fastest thinker but real nice to work with. Bob and I showed up to clean a couple rooms in this couple's mansion. It was immaculate, two gay men in their 40s. Never mind the paintings of half naked dudes all over the walls. So part of our job is to move furniture to clean under them. I had Bob help move the bed, and this giant two foot leopard print veiny dick rolls out like a dead possum. Bob stares. No words spoken. I clean around it, kick it under the bed and move it back. Bob and I finish the job and get in the van to leave. Bob turns to me and says, where did they get that leopard's dick, and what are they gonna do with it? I still cannot tell this story without laughing. I used to clean carpets for a living and we were sent to a section 8 home that had recently had the electricity shut off. We went in to survey the situation and, after locating a flashlight, Realized the six foot high mound in the living room was all dirty diapers. We did not clean that carpet. I walked into a house where a family had two dogs that they'd trained to use those pee pads. But instead of throwing them out they just laid a new one on top. The stretch was bad, but the ammonia smell actually burned my nose. How people can go nose blind to that I'll never understand. Had a hoarder once in a giant multi-million dollar home. 
I worked my way through a path to get upstairs and saw that the only accessible area was the master bed. And even then only a two feet wide path. Down the hall I could just make out six bedrooms and probably a bathroom but crap was stacked up nearly to the ceiling making it completely inaccessible. The woman that owned the home said she hadn't been down to the end of the hall since the early 90s. I've seen lots of hoarders. It usually catches me off guard because it can be any house or apartment. They can look completely normal from outside. This one is bad, not so much for its gross factor but rather the circumstances. I used to work in pest control in a major city and this included so low income rentals. I was inspecting for bed bugs when sure enough, I found them in one of the units. Being that this was a number of years ago, it was and probably still a standard practice to toss out the mattress entirely. Have you ever tried to tell someone who probably has no disposable income that they need to throw out their mattress and buy a new one? That pretty much killed my day. Edit, I didn't expect this to catch on. I thought I would add a little bit more context to the overall conversation. When I first started with this company, the resurgence of bed bugs was still a pretty new phenomenon and credit to my employers, they moved quickly in researching and improving our approach. We eventually moved on to recommending mattress cover certified for bed bugs, heat treatments and even integrated a bed bug sniffing dog. We also started doing lectures for hotels in the area, training the staff in what to look out for as they were cleaning rooms and I would translate in Spanish. I eventually went back to school full time but man, that whole aspect of my job moved so fast in terms of management and equipment. When I was in the Air Force I had to pull some first sergeant duty while the actual first sergeant was on leave. First sergeant was responsible for the morale and well-being of the troops in the unit. We responded directly to the commander with any issues. We got a call to report to a troops house in base housing. When we got there, CPS was outside and the cops were inside. When I got inside it was the most disgusting thing I had ever seen. Dog shit everywhere. On the floors, on the beds, counters. Piles of dirty clothes in the bedrooms. Dirty dishes piled up high. The troop was deployed to the Middle East, it was just his wife and kids in the house. The wife truly didn't understand what was wrong and why her kids were being taken away. Her husband got recalled from deployment to deal with it. I don't know what the final resolution was since the actual first sergeant came back and took over the case. I was happy to hand it over. I work in the restoration business, deal with insurance companies claims for water, fire, mold etc. I had just started my job a month before I was sent to the worst house I've ever been in. There was a house that the bank took from someone because they defaulted on the mortgage. I was sent in to clean the house out, she was a hoarder. She had no running water and had not once taken her garbage bins to the curb. Not even kidding, they were the cleanest things on her property two garbage bins that were spotless, not a speck of dirt inside them. The house however had 18 inches of garbage covering the whole floor of the house. Pringle cans everywhere full of shit. A pile of used pads beside her bed, as high as my waist and about 4 in diameter. Tea bags piled from the top of the counter, to the bottom of the upper cabinets. A pile of used toilet paper taking up every bit of her bathtub and about 4 feet higher than the top of the tub. There was a spot under all of the garbage that she was burnt clothes and a big burn mark into her hardwood floor. Mouse shit everywhere and dead mice. It was also the middle of the summer when I had to go in, was about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius out over the 4 days I was there. We filled two massive dumpsters up with garbage. That was easily the worst 4 days of my life. Not a job, but I moved out of my apartment and told the girl living there that I'd be back the next weekend to clean my room in the common areas living room and kitchen and bathroom, she was notoriously dirty and I wanted to make sure that I received my deposit back. I took the items that I paid for, she was incapable of shopping for items. I took the remaining toilet paper, leaving the partial roll, my shower curtain, my pans and plates and dishes, my food and the rest of my stuff. I came back a week later to find rice covering the floor. She didn't have pots or pans, and instead of buying one, she attempted to cook using one of her plates. By the evidence of the half-melted plate on the stove with congealing food in it, why the stupid bitch didn't use the microwave, she had also melted a kettle to the back burner, I had to buy two replacement burners for the stove. She stopped using the toilet when she ran out of toilet paper, left it unflushed and started using the bathtub. Bits and pieces still clinging to the back of it where the shower head wouldn't reach. Plates stuck to the floor under the couch. Snotty tissues covering her bed, so she was sleeping in her snot tissues. She had flunked out of the graphic design program and took it rather hard. Food in the bed, crackers, pancakes, 
syrup were just some of the recognizable foods. Food everywhere actually. I found that she had been stashing her empty slim fast cans in her dresser. There were you, tea so many things to clean, it was gross. I was a realtor showing a house that had a tiny powder room. The owner had attempted some kind of faux finish sponge painting technique and bright red over white walls. It looked like someone had pulled out a full tampon and helicoptered it. Now this room is definitely taste specific, but you'll want to take note of the complete absence of dead cats. Thanks. I needed a laugh after all those dead cats. I used to work for a company that did fire, water, and mold cleanups. We got called to a mold cleanup due to water damage, and these people were hoarders. Useless shit stacked to the ceiling. All of it had to get tossed due to being in contact with a really toxic form of mold. So once we reach the basement and we're tossing shit, we find two cat carcasses. The whole basement smelled terrible. We knew something was up, but we couldn't really put our finger on it until we found the decayed cats. The owners just shrugged it off. Disgusting people. Used to work for a service company that would respond to apartment renter issues. Walked into a studio apartment at an upscale complex for a reported issue with the dryer. As soon as I walked in, a majority of the walls were covered with porn from porn magazines. The renter tore out hundreds and hundreds of pages from dirty magazines and tacked them to the walls. Everything else was normal and clean. The furniture was clean, the floors were clean, no evidence of hoarding of any kind. Kitchen was spotless. No smells or odors. Apartment was fully organized, but just porn all over the walls. Friend is a realtor with a bunch of crazy stories. She said she had a client wanting to sell his house. No problem. My friend sends a co-worker out to take pictures of the place. When the co-worker shows up she says that it might be hard to use the pictures because the house was damn near covered in dicks. Dick statues, dick pictures, dick paintings, dick shrines, and so on. It was like a dick museum. The owner decides to have a yard sale to help with the realtor fees. My friend goes over to help the customer with what he wants to sell. Going through everything she discovers he is bed bugs. She said they ended up going through three rounds of bed bug treatment before the yard sale. She was trying to convince him that one, nobody wants all your dick stuff and two, everything is covered with bed bug treatment. He was very adamant about doing the yard sale and sure enough he sold all his dick stuff. Edit, here you all go. Dick house pictures. These were just some. I got these from my realtor friend. I got her permission to share them. Dick house. One of our clients had a water line breakage in their home and called in a claim. Our claims adjuster went out and then called us back immediately telling us he had just got done throwing up and we needed to get off this policy immediately. It turns out they had converted a bedroom into a litter box room. Instead of using litter boxes, they just dumped new litter into the room on the floor. He said the litter was about 2 feet high, filled with excrement, and the whole house smelled so bad it made him sick. It was also a hoarder-esque type situation with piles and piles of trash everywhere. We had to go out and investigate and his descriptive phone call didn't scratch the surface of how bad this home was. It's strange. Had a lot of jobs. Been in prod thousands of homes and I've forgotten almost all of them. Few stand out though. Yeah there are the roaches, spiders falling out of vents. The smells, the trash. People are pretty gross but the worst was sad. Olderish lady who made me take off my shoes. Perfectly clean house and not a speck of dust. Plastic on the couches and not a thing out of place. I realized I needed to get in a room and told her and she immediately did the no no it's terrible in there. It's my daughter's room and as always I'm like, no it's fine. I've seen it all and a messy kid isn't anything to be worried about it. After some prodding she finally let me in. Mattress was torn up and blood stained, blood and shit, feces, on the walls holes in the walls and trash everywhere. The lady started crying and then she, mom, told me she, daughter, was an addict and she's, mom, tried redoing the room multiple times but she'd, daughter, always tears it up again. Real sad. Edited for clarification. Typed while eating lunch and wasn't really paying attention. Edit 2. So you this blew up. So to answer some question and make some points. First off. I played it cool. Don't worry about it. This is no big deal. It obviously was but there is an embarrassed woman crying in front of me and I'm not a monster. And I had a job to do. Secondly, anyone criticizing the mom can duck right off. I don't know what it's like to be in her shoes but she was hurting. I doubt anyone know s how to properly handle that situation. And not that anyone asked. 
I have noped out of the roach house but it wasn't an emotionally tense situation. I was just thousands of tiny roaches and all I could think about was the X-Files episode. It was a while ago, but one guy's house had a hole cut between two floors and had a lovingly maintained old Victorian steam-powered concert organ set up in the hole. Not necessarily bad, just odd. It was a regular suburban house. Owner was super weird though. The rest of the house was filled with garbage and smelled like cat pee. I used to work for an apartment complex as a maintenance guy, for all of four months. Anyway, there were reports of a weird smell coming from some middle-aged woman's apartment. She was behind on her rent, and an eviction notice was sent out, so we assumed that she bailed. Well. She didn't bail. She ducking died in her bathtub. The stench inside alone was enough for me to never go back to that job. TV repairman here. I've seen my fair share of nasty houses, a couple outright hoarders, etc. But I'm going to go with the most memorable sign of money. I was working on a bedroom TV and there were a couple maintenance or plumbing guys working in the bathroom attached to the room. The homeowner was bumbling around, and at some point the plumber says to her we just got a call and the new tub finally arrived from Italy. We can get it installed next week if we pull out the old one today, but you won't have a bath in the master bath over the weekend. She goes Paul, don't be ridiculous. We have 9 other bathrooms in this house I think I'll survive a couple days. It really wasn't the worst in any way, it was just absurd. Thanks for listening to another episode of Reddit X. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.